and we're rolling okay hey guys uh mr torcoletti and myself are going to uh show you how to do the procedure for the kinetic and static friction lab grade 11 university of physics <laughs> so mr torcoletti's got his safety gear on that's important today because you uh should always be prepared for the worst we lock the doors right yeah okay good <laughs> so the, fr <laughs> right. the first part of the lab, we're going to uh, uh, f determine uh, objects um, static and kinetic friction by pulling it. So uh, let's get started. So we're going to grab our lab quest here, and you're going to ensure you have a wooden block there. And we're going to get our force sensor out. And just reminder that the force sensor plugs in to the side of the lab quest. And what you're going to observe is Mr. Torcoletti is going to pull on the force, on the block. And um, when we get the data, um, something might surprise you, and, and that's what we're going to be looking at today. So we're going to change our duration to five seconds. And we're going to leave it at 50 samples a second. We're going to hit OK. And we're going to make sure that we zero our force sensor first. So you can see that Mr. Torcoletti has it here um, uh, horizontally. And so we're just going to click on the force box and click zero. And you can see we're basically zeroed off now. And we're ready to take some data. So I'm going to hit play. And Mr. Torcoletti is going to have about five seconds to pull on this block. And it may take some practice. Um, but let's see what he gets. So he's going to just start off gently and then pull fast a little bit more and a little bit more until it starts to move. Perfect. So this is a good set of data. We're going to repeat it right now. We're going to add a little bit of mass to the block and see uh, if we can get a similar shape. And so you can see the force versus time graph made. And so I'm going to hit play, and then Mr. Torcoletti is going to do the same thing, pulling gently, and then stronger and stronger and stronger. And then at a constant. So you can see, again, you get a similar shape with some sort of peak at the beginning. And then there's where he's pulling with constant velocity. And this is the general shape you're after for this lab. All right, so we're going to set up for the second part of the lab. The second part of the lab, we determine friction in a different way using the motion detector. So we're going to plug in our motion detector to the top. We're going to unplug our force probe. And in this one, we're only finding the kinetic friction uh, not the static. And we're going to change our duration. Five seconds is okay. All right. And we're going to make sure that the uh, motion sensor is set to cart, which it is. Okay. So I'll take this mass off. And Mr. Torcoletti is going to slide the block towards the motion sensor. And so hold on one sec. We're just going to make sure that it is detecting the block. So that's about 1.2 meters, would you say? Yeah. Good. Okay. We're now we're at 0.7 meters. We're good. Okay. So Mr. Torcoletti is starting from about a meter and a half away, and he's just going to slide the block towards, but make sure he releases it, and uh, hopefully it'll be detected until it stops. So let's see if we can get all this. How, am I framed up there, Mr. Torcoletti? Let's see here. Uh, you're good. There? Mm -hmm. There? Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think we got everything here. Uh, yeah, we're good. Let's see. What do you think? Oh, I think. Oh, yeah. Velocity. Mm. What happened there? It's got a flat peak. That's not good. 
No, it went off there. Okay, let's, do you wanna try it again? Yeah. Okay, we'll try it again. I'm gonna look at the, my phone this time to make sure. Okay. Mm. Again. Mm. No. Let's try again. This is this is the fun part of science. Ooh, that should be good. That's weird. You know what? I don't know. It was fine there, right? I might, I might switch out the motion sensor. Oh. There's one that's finicky. Maybe we were unlucky and we grabbed the finicky one. All right, remember, when all else fails, blame the equipment. No, I'm joking. You can blame the person doing the experiment. <laughs> Let me just make sure we're picking this up here. So, okay, 1.9, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.7, 0.8, 0.7, 0.8, 0.7, 0.8, 0.8, 0.8, 0.8, 0.8, 0.8, 0.8, 0.8, 0.8, 0